Your girl is a toy son. Focus on your peace moving forward. If it shows up half baked, half cooked, half made, half ready, release it. Serious. Stop forcing shit. There's no. I ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit. Ain't gonna hold shit. Ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tapped the fuck in. I'm gonna read this motherfucking cards yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read. Mirror two. two. Tap. The fuck? Backwards and yes. in reverse. I'm gonna read these bitches. Hello, my twin flame collective. Welcome. Let's get an update for the twin flame folk. Anything you need to know about me is down below. Of course, in a twin flame reading, you always want to flip and switch the energies and or see if they are mirrored. Let's see. Angel spirit guys and ancestors. What do the twin flame collective need to know? What's the twin flame tea? We got questions. How many of our issues were just simple misunderstandings? Did we base our decisions solely upon assumptions? Uh-oh. Y'all bumping heads. <laughs> Let's see. Misfiring. Mm, okay. Y'all on the same page or no? What else for the twins, spirit? Look like y'all need to have a sit down. This, <laughs> this, <laughs> this went too far. It's the vibe ghost i ghosted you to buy my time until i can get myself together so if your person pull it back every reading it's a raggedy ass car some of y'all dealing with a cancer anyways if y'all person pull it back it's like they want to work on themselves like they ain't figure out about you but they don't want to be in your life and they not ready so it's giving like if you moved on how the fuck could i be mad even though i'm gonna be bad i'm gonna be mad Okay, it says, I didn't know it would take so long or that you would move on so quickly. It's the vibe. Listen, I like, listen, I ghosted you, but you supposed to sit there and be moping around, okay? <laughs> For a twin flame collective. It's all love, y'all. You know, we talk some shit. But no, nah, they, they had good intentions to fix themselves. You were just supposed to wait. Mirroring. Ooh. You can feel my thoughts and emotions as if they are your own. Now, let me say, let me say something about this. Especially if you were intuitive. Like, if you were intuitive twins, most twins have gifts. I don't know none at all. But, especially the, the feminine one. Like, it be like that. Like, the, the, intuition, the intuition and all of that. But anyways, um, not that men don't have it. They, they real more, they're more instinctual, though. But yeah, it's like if you just chilling, you watching TV, all of a sudden an emotion creep up on you that's not your own, it's your twin. Now, if you're an empath, you just like, I got to understand, like, is this me? Is this the, the, the person standing next to me? Or is this my twin over there tripping off some? And sometimes, especially when you wake up in the morning, like telepathy is stronger for me in the morning. Like as soon as like I come out of my sleep. It's like a dream that I could recall quickly or a song or I started seeing my twins' uh, birthday um, or the digits of their phone number, things like that. So be mindful of them like mirroring themselves into your life. But right here with the emotions and um, thoughts, you just got to understand like, do I feel like this? Like, do I have a legit reason to feel this way? But let's see. What else for the twins? Angel spirit guys and ancestors. What's the energy for the twin flames? Please. Unawakened. I don't believe in soulmates or twins. Ooh. Now listen, there's levels to this shit. Some of y'all, let's say reincarnation. Like to say that I'm a twin, like y'all, you gotta understand, like you're talking about something spiritual. And with that spirituality awareness, with that spiritual awareness. You have to understand that it's soul. And you're saying, okay, I'm a twin, which means my soul is connected to another. Which means you have to even go deeper. Like, how deep does soul go? The soul reincarnates. What leaves, what is left when you are deceased is the flesh. But anyways, this person in this lifetime, this could be y'all first time, like, here. Like, splitting. Let's say some of my knowledge of twins that i will share later is that a soul elevates or awakens enough to split you be you, you get ranked up 
in the, in the spirit. Let's say in my past life, I was a teacher. I was a, an ascended master. Who knows, right? Um, but in this life, I said, I have some things that I want to work on. Split me, right? Let them mirror to me all of the shadow, all of the trauma, all of the... Let them remind me of who I am early in this life. Don't let me get 40, 50, and I'm awakening. Remind me early. Like, when I get to earth, remind me so I can wake up to teach. So that's what a twin is. But it looks like someone is mirroring to you the very version of you that is so dark and so much trauma that needs to be worked on. They do have their individual brain. They do have their individual life. And they are choosing to say, what the fuck is that? And they may have been brought up Christian. They may have been brought up some other form of religion. And they're just like, what are you talking about? Like, I learned science, social studies, and math in school. I didn't learn this. And a lot of times, we don't learn spirituality. And that's that's fucked up because spirituality is very real. Like, chakras, energy, vibrations, frequency. We're not learning that. And spells and things like that. We're not learning that. We're learning how to exist in the earthly realm and not soul stuff. So whoever this is, it's like, listen, I learned regular stuff. What are you talking about? But what else, spirit? Sideways, nostalgia. I'm thinking of you and remembering our moments together. It keeps me up sometimes at night. and makes me wonder if you're thinking of me too. Nine times out of ten, maybe ten times out of ten, y'all are thinking about each other. Uh, one thing that I learned is in my twin flame connection that there's like um sacral energy and it <laughs> it's borderline horny or aroused, but not so much. It's just like that's where you feel it. Like it just feels like a tingle. I call it twin tingles, and I usually feel it right before a text comes through. Um, I'm like, dang, like that's weird. I felt y'all ass, but this could be a notion to know when your twin is thinking about you um or they know this when you when you're thinking about them but anyways nostalgia coming out sideways they are trying not to think about you for some of you which is crazy it says sink i speak to you with well, most of my twin flame clients are married so i see why they for some of you not trying trying not to think about you Sinks, I speak to you through songs, numbers, and signs all the time. I just said that. So, the way that a twin... I'm studying this. Like, is it like 5D, fifth dimensional, where there's no ego, pride, and all of that? It's simply, you are connected with your twin's highest. It's like, the, it's like if you can see like a, a aura or a trace over you, it's like they're standing over you like, head hot, you like, I'm a part of you. But their higher self... So I'm wondering, like, is it their higher self sending you reminders? Like, don't forget the journey. I know you got all these people coming at you that want to date you and all that. Don't forget me because forgetting me is forgetting your growth. So I feel like a twin reminds you, even if they're not in your life, they remind you to stay focused. Like, they're going to trigger you. They're going to inspire you. They're going to they're, they're gonna do a lot of twin shit. And you may be running from it. If you're running from your twin, you're not ready. You're, you're, you 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 want to heal. If you're if you're going your own way from your twin flame, you're saying, "Ugh, that person really triggers me. Ugh, that person really makes me feel like I'm not good enough." Instead of running towards it like, "Okay, you make me want to grow." They run away from it because they want to fix themselves in solitude or they want to play around in the sandbox a while. They're like, listen, especially the the, the, the version of you that gets split, that's the shadow. Cuz either of you could be the yin or the yang. The version of you that gets split that's all shadow, they really have a lot of trauma and, and it's based on their upbringing that puts all of that trauma, it, it's deep, that puts all of that trauma in y'all's connection and may, and when y'all interact with each other, y'all clash instead of clicking. But um, it's those things that make your person run and not want to be in this connection. But with the sinks, I'm still studying, like, is it your spirit guides, your, your, your spirit team, like sending you reminders to focus on your twin or remember your twin and be like why focus on them if they ghost to me focus on what they triggered in you then they trigger abandonment right then they trigger insecurities yeah they did then they trigger you to grow to fix something whether it's your diet whether it's the gym whether it's a new job whether it's more stability whether it's to create your own business whatever they triggered don't run from it 
embrace it. So I'm wondering, because either way, when a twin signals pop up, numbers, signs, time, birthday, all of that, it's a reminder of them regardless. And I'm learning, okay, you're telling me to stay focused. I got, P <laughs> I got Peter, Brian, and Paul on my line, but here comes my twin flame's birthday. I'm like... So it's like, okay, so it's telling me to remember what I would like to have. Remember the connection that I would like to be fulfilled in. It's not that my, my twin is D-all, B-all, even though it feels like it sometimes. But it's more so like, okay, you reminded me to be my best self. Knowing damn well I don't want anything to do with Peter and them is more so remember the growth. So that's why I feel like the signs of synchronicities are right now. I'm still trying to understand, though. Is it spirit guys or the or the fifth dimensional version and what i mean by that is your twins higher self because here on this earthly plane we're thinking about clothes money holes right so it's definitely a fifth dimensional version but let's see what else is going on with the twins and these twin readings i definitely talk a lot because there's some things that needs to be said i talk a lot in all my readings but for the collective what's going on with the twin flame collective the angels spirit guys and ancestors release your ex that's usually the, <laughs> that's usually the issue why twins are not in union and twins can be friends they really can it's so much potential with twins like you can be besties if you are open-minded like you both knowing your your twins is a bonus but both knowing why we your twins or what's the point of being twins will help but this release your ex thing is is too common with my clients. It's too common with the readers that I used to watch because I haven't watched the tarot reading in forever. But um, I feel like sometimes you can actually release your ex and still need to release the memory or the or the essence of the ex, the emotion of the ex. They hurt you, so you still tripping off the experience of the ex. So that for some of you, it's release that. Now for some of you, this is funny because I'm gonna, I'm gonna say some shit time has come to clear your energy the ex could be the 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 future ex like the person you're with that is not working like release that shit because this person needs to be your past for some of you you're in something right now where someone needs to be your ex and i'm not i'm not pointing fingers on nobody saying that your marriage is broken and they release it i'm not saying anything like that what i'm saying is some of y'all have communication coming in what I'm saying is if you're in something you're trying to force to make work, you got to cut ties. This person needs to become your ex. Clear your energy. Now, for some of you, you've been hurt. You've been emotionally abused. Some of you even physically abused by people from your past. And it has blocked you from calling in your soulmate. And people, people started to irritate me with the soulmate word. And what I mean is, I hear a lot of people say, I married my soulmate or... That's my soulmate, and we meant to be, and I really be like, that's that's a <laughs> that's a real thing. Like, you're mated by soul, and it's is the word is getting passed around too lightly. Being spiritual, I know what a soulmate is. Like, we locked in. God said in this world we would meet. You have soulmates and twin flames. It says I don't believe in soulmates or twin flames for some of y'all. And some soulmates are karmic, detrimental to your health. Some of them they're regular soulmates, but they run its course. They could be more platonic. It may feel like I'm dating my friend. We got a roommate situation. Like we we don't have a physical attraction. I'm not attracted to them sexually. Or when I have sex with them, I'm not connected. That's because this person is very close to you. Y'all just ain't meant to be that way. Just because you click with somebody, don't mean you're supposed to be with them. So those are regular soulmates. Friends can be soulmates. Family can be soulmates. It just means in this world you're meant to interact with them. But for some of you, I'm talking about a twin flame reading. Sorry, get off track. It says calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. It's blocked. And I tell a lot of my clients, when you order a new couch set for your living room, where are you going to put this new couch if you have not released or gotten rid of or removed the old couch set? This is symbolic for spiritual connections. Your twin can feel when you got somebody in your energy. I don't know how they know. I don't know how I know. They just, you just feel like you're doing something. 
and spirit can see like there's no room for anything healthy in your life because you got negativity in your life sometimes you block your blessings in romance by hanging on to toxicity and i have a lot of clients that be like what's coming in for me in love and then they be like can you tell me about brian joe and lucifer <laughs> i'll be like you want new love you got all that going on where is it gonna go so clear the room please for your love life especially a twin flame connection some of y'all are simply blocking y'all twins by being with somebody else what else and when you say i'm not blocking my twin i talk to my twin every day you're blocking the potential for it to work what else and it's a beautiful connection it really is when you do the work understand it like this person is here to help me grow in some kind of way for the twins anything else angels spirit guys and ancestors sideways give your relationship a chance work on your partnership i, I just said this year work on it together the potential for it to grow sideways and that's this uh which one was it this misunderstandings and assumptions over here y'all gotta talk i don't understand why adults don't talk no more we, we we're doing the emojis and the in the in the ignore you for three four hours that's a pet peeve of mine young folk be having a phone right and it's like why wait to respond to me just to make it seem like you're not available or make it seem like you too busy or you're not pressed like i had a guy flat out tell me he was like i ain't thirsty so i don't respond right away I say it's about you see it, you respond. I respond fast because I see your I see your text. Why play games with you? Why let me say, oh, I see that text. Let me wait a couple of hours. For what? Why am I doing that to you? It's something, it's something about that that pisses me off because it's like, what are you trying to prove? Either you're interested in this person or you're not. A lot of relationships get thrown off course with this give your relationship a chance. I'm really still on it. Because people are too big on their on their ego, too big on pride. If you see someone's text, reply to it. Why play games, you know? That whole not wanting to be thirsty thing, that's how people are still single and unfulfilled. Just reply. Like, stop playing. Or tell them to leave you alone. Like, that's crazy to me. But let me, let me, let me. Some of y'all are not putting your best foot forward. Some of y'all are unhealed. Some of y'all are not hopeful based on previous relationships unhealed. Some of y'all are simply not ready for a connection so intense, so strong, so powerful because it scares you. It frightens you. And this whole don't believe in twin flame soulmate. Some of y'all told y'all twin that they were your twin. And they like, what is you talking about? And they more than likely don't understand it, so they pull back. What else is going on with the twins? Angels, spirit guys, and ancestors. What's the tea? For the twin flames, please. We switching decks. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner. You see, a lot of y'all still looking for something. And you found your twin. Or this is y'all's twin. A lot of them are still seeking superficial relationships is usually what breaks a twin down they go looking for the wrong shit they find it they find it and then they go well damn i had something that was just peaceful you sure did and that's usually with the why they keep coming back and they don't want shit what they're coming back for is a band-aid like you're their other half of course they came back you got to get out of your ego and be a friend and not have expectations okay if your twin keeps resurfacing after a failed relationship that's the way it go you are their natural healer male or female being with your twin hugging your twin talking to your twin texting your twin is energy being exchanged to heal each other to inspire each other to make each other feel calm they could have had a bad day where all they do is text you they go i feel better because it's unconditional unspoken unconditional love sometimes you be like why i love this person i just met this person y'all twins y'all already loved each other before it's just ego blocking you from saying what you feel i love them i do i care for them i would be upset if something happened to them i looked at the definition of love <laughs> one of them was you think about this person every day i said what that's love yes Cause I think about, I, I said, let me think about one of my exes. Ugh, huh. <laughs> so 
You can really look it up and be like, damn, like, it's so simple. The definition to what is love? How do you know if you love someone? Some people are too scared to say that. I love you. I care for you. I love love. I'm the angel of love. One of them. But let's see. What else is going on with these twins? You know what I'm going to do, Spirit? I'm going to do the feminine on on the left. And I'm going to do the masculine on the right. For the feminine twins. Let me, let me switch. I'm going to do the pink for the ladies. Or the feminine. Because I've seen some same-sex twins. I went, what? But you know. Masculine, feminine. Angel spirit guys and sisters, let me know how the feminine twins are feeling. Where they at? Oh Lord, so try to jump out for the feminine twins. What's the tea? I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. The lady said, you know what? I learned a lot from you. You taught me this, this, that, the third, the fourth, the fifth. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I replay our conversations over and over. You know what? <laughs> it's the vibe. Let me see. And the masculines. They got a <laughs> they got a rebuttal. I want you back. <laughs> and the masculines. Let's see where the fellas at. I'm not over you. Ooh, Lord. <laughs> for the masculine twin spirit what's going on what's the tea from the masculine please i'm recovering uh the, <laughs> the, you know what this is crazy i felt that over here with i ghosted you to buy my time until i can get myself together I didn't know it would take so long or that you would move on so quickly. The masculine says that they are working on themselves and they won't let you down when they get themselves together. Oh my goodness. Let's go back to the ladies. Where the ladies at? They say they're great for the spiritual lesson. They say, I'm, you know what, I'm working on me. So y'all are both grateful for the spiritual lesson, whether they see it as a spiritual lesson or not. The ladies, the feminists, we'll try to jump out. I love you. See, it's so easy for the women to say, I love you. The men be like, I care for you too. <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> Why is that so hard? Oh my God. Lord have mercy. For the feminine energies. <laughs> the ladies don't mind. And write you a poem. What I love you on it a million times. Shit. Love is love. What else going on, spirit? Let me stop playing. For the feminine energies. Where they at? It fell over. I'm recovering. I regret lying to you. Ooh, the latest line. <laughs> what the hell? We will be together again. Look like some of the ladies decided that they want to go back to their ex show. Mm. Mm-mm. Or you feel like they lied to you, ladies. For the men, uh, you need to clarify that. <laughs> For the men, I want to start over. You know what? I don't know who man's this is. He said, I know I'm tapped in. He said, I want to start over and I want to make a man. Who man's is this? <laughs> Let me clarify. These ladies lying real quick. Shit. I'm gonna do one more each and I'm done. I just want to see what these twins are talking about. Who lying and why see? Why these ladies lying? Who they lie about? Guilt. Oh shit. Stress. Anxiety. Burdens. Look like there's a woman here that, or the feminine energy, said that they got it, they handling, they maintaining it, they carrying all the birds, they don't need no help. It's giving like a facade. Let's say y'all told y'all twin, I'm good, I'm over it, I don't need nobody. Like that, it's giving Queen of Swords. Okay, so I feel like some of the feminine energy said that they were good. They they feel oh okay. Some of y'all. Like I used to 
for you. Don't you take it personal. Look like some of y'all ladies told y'all twins that y'all was good, y'all was over it, y'all forget them, and you don't. It's burdening you, it's weighing you down, it's stressing you out, you feel some type of way, you, you may even be having a hard time sleeping. Some of y'all forgave y'all twins before you were ready to forgive y'all twins. Y'all not over it, y'all lying. That's the vibe. Ooh, that's deep. I did that before. It's good, we cool. <laughs> one more for the ladies <laughs> we need to let each other go that's for all my married twins i'm telling you i already know what that's it ain't nothing else for you to do it say i wonder if you happy without me that's the vibe y'all are with people a lot of my clients the ladies a lot of my lady twins are with married men or their twins married and they say they leave it let that uh, 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 uh. that's that some of y'all feel like y'all twin ain't applying no pressure they ain't giving nothing they ain't into none of this shit y'all talking about you feel like they pull back you saying okay fuck it fine we need to let each other go some of y'all listen sometimes twins are just simply not meant to be together they're meant to wake your ass up i learned that like they just the fucking spark. They the, they the <laughs> villain in your movie to wake you up. They will do what 10 other relationships have done. And it's like only when they do it, you decide to grow. For the men, masculines, one more. This hit the flow. I know it's good. I wish we could go back. See, listen, who? And I miss being with you. I like the men's side. They like, I'm recovering. I want to start over. I wish we could go back. I miss your ass. Listen. Well, they say I miss being with you. So maybe y'all ain't been spending enough time with each other. You know what's crazy? I feel like somebody twin has ghosted, pulled back, or just ain't giving the way they used to give because they want to work on themselves by themselves or they want to stay with it. And whatever relationship they in, they feel like that person don't press them and they got time. It said, didn't know it would take so long or that you would move on quickly. Yes. Okay, so the men is working on themselves. And even if they don't say it, even if it don't look like it, Men are not that vocal when it comes to their emotions, so they are though. They really are. It pays to be a psychic. Okay. But yeah, y'all ladies look like y'all ready to give up and y'all said y'all was healed and y'all over. You not tripping. You learned a lot. You could be barking at them. I learned a lot from you. But anyway, let's see. The final messages for the twins. Where is everybody at? How's everybody feeling and thinking? I will find my way back to you one day. You know what? A lot of y'all are going y'all separate ways. A lot of y'all are waiting to exhale, waiting on the reconciliation. Listen, twins do this. They come and go. If they live, they'll be back. When the time is right or when you release your ex. Or when they release theirs. What else? Or the person that should be their ex. Or the memory of it. I can see myself with you in the future. I'm telling you. It's giving save you for later. But not in a bad way. It's that if you move on, fine. Fuck it. I'm gonna be mad. But I got stuff to do. It's giving this is not the right. The timing is bad. Ooh, this deep. What else? I dive in and out of relationships. They're still learning lessons soulmate okay some of y'all twin feel like you are their soulmate or y'all feel more friendly than romantic platonic and some of y'all they have someone in their life they're with a soulmate they're with a soulmate and you're their twin what else can i get another one for the twins there's a th <laughs> They're with someone else, dealing with somebody else, fucking somebody else, talking somebody else, married. They, it's somebody else. It's somebody else. 
So they gotta learn that lesson. Why is it a lesson? Everything is a fucking lesson if it ain't your twin. And even this, even if it is your twin, it's like, how much have you learned? Can you and your twin exist together? For you and your twin to be together is to say we boss the fuck up. We did that. We're doing that. If you with your twin, you are on another level. I'm not with my twin. So one of us need to fucking grow. I'm I'm humble enough to say that shit. And it ain't internally. It may just be financially. It may just be our paths, our destiny. But to be with your twin is to say, listen, we got it. Or we're doing it together. Some twins do it together. And they may have that push and pull in the same household. I've seen it. I have a client that's with her twin. And they need to work together. <laughs> I ain't gonna share too much. But yeah, that's a, that's, that's a level up. What else? And for the twins. I know for me personally, I'm working on my own life. I have sexual fantasies. About you, married, involved, situationship, living with a roommate, baby mama, baby daddy. They think about fucking on you. What else? Yeah, some of y'all destroyed y'all friendship, fucking around with each other. Or they feel like with this dive in our relationship... They come your way for a few flings every once in a while. Or they feel bad for doing this. They feel bad for coming towards you. Or they're trying to avoid this. I wish we could go back. For some of you, they wish they'd never crossed this line with you. They feel like they fucked y'all's connection up because now everything is confusing. However it go. Let me clarify. Temptation. Some way interfering in our relationship. For some of y'all, they cheated on you. That's it. Or they involved the third party. Let's say you and your twin was rocking. They fucked somebody else. I gave it to temptation. They say I dive in and out of relationship. I'm not finna play tennis with these motherfuckers. Fights, arguments, conflicts with somebody else. But here we go right here. For a lot of y'all, y'all twin ain't going nowhere. I want to work it out. I want to start over. Listen, here's my verbal recap. And when I said some twins just simply want to work on themselves, I mean it. it. It's not always internal. Sometimes it's like me, right? If my twin asked me to marry him, I'd be like, yes! Okay, <laughs> but like me, right? I have my own personal stuff that I feel that would distract my relationship. Like if we're together i'm gonna still be tripping off my own personal life and sometimes spirit knows that they will not bring you together until you feel that you are ready like i'm also working on my physique in the gym like when you're in a bedroom and things like that any insecurities you have with your twin they feel that whether you said or they feel your insecurities my breasts ain't as perky as they was in high school right i would love to continue to work on my physique and most twins mirror each other so my twin may feel the same way but i'm just saying this a lot of times there are unspoken things that keep you and your twin apart simple shit in my case because i know better when it comes to karmic partners and uh random hookups in the bar just throwing my body giving my spiritual energy away like i know not to do things like that i ain't crazy um lashing out just dumb shit like i've grown from that shadow work i've done that i feel like i'm on my personal life now but a lot of times you have things and situations like that that will block your divine partner sometimes most of the time y'all allow yourself to be in a third party situation because they say they're getting ready to leave or they're unhappy and you want to save them you want to be their peace you want to help them feel better you block your life you slow down you stop focusing on your gifts you stop focusing on when i say gifts, some of y'all are very psychic and intuitive i'm in a twin flame reading i'm going to say that um your your businesses your humanitarian work or whatever you're supposed to do in the public because most twins if not all twins do something in the public whether it's both of you or at least one of you so there's a lot of things that get thrown off when you de decide to stop growing and become an enabler for them to cheat as well and then some of y'all ain't nobody cheat you and your twin are both single, but both of y'all may have trauma. One of y'all may have trauma. And in my case, I have my own personal stuff. My trauma 
was the death of my mother early my father been on drugs and growing up with no support like that was my trauma i worked on that and men i lost a lot dealing with men like i really slowed my life down and i'm sharing this because a lot of twins have trauma that they need to work on individually and it will definitely fuck up your twin flame connection y'all will repel each other without saying it's like they can feel that it's not safe or you're not healed or whatever it is it just the magnets become reversed and it's 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 repelling but yeah a lot of y'all in these third party relationships the sooner the better you release them the sooner the better you let them go the sooner your relationship with your twin will either become a great platonic friendship or um, a very healed healthy romantic relationship but this is y'all read until next time peace